Centered back in Dabrowski, right into the pad of Mack and Animal. Puck still loose in the blue paint. And McCollum had to be ready for it. Two on one now. Yates coming back with Kirkby. Yates dotting on in, holding, outweighting the goaltender, and Yates scores his fourth of the season. Makes Danbury pay with the same exact move, and the Black Bears up one to nothing here on the road. The outweights the defender, outweights the goaltender and ultimately has an empty net to shoot at. And this is Gavin Yates' first trip here. What a shot and what a move from the crafty centerman. Not anymore. Now here comes Zinchenko far side, Mack and Animal corrals the rebound. Two on two opportunity for Binghamton. Gavin Yates coming again and he scores! Two shots in a row for Gavin Yates and his return to the Danbury Ice Arena from his injury is a loud one here in the first period. Binghamton leads two to nothing. Danbury just giving him way too much room to shoot at. Gavin Yates, too good of a goal scorer to miss opportunities like that. Picks a nice spot, puts it right under McCollum's blocker, and it's two nothing Gavin Yates over the Danbury Hattricks, Brooks. Dina Cola, Anderson might not catch him. Dina Cola denied by Mack and Animal. Pass denied, and a snapshot as Pamela Ons tries to skate in, getting over to Hardwell, well wide of the target, rebound denied by Mack and Animal, holding the post on Muscal. Muscal shot, and a good save made by Mack and Animal on the second chance. Can't do anything, but now McKittrick comes back in a beautiful back check by JT Walters, sends the puck out of play. A majority of the period, low angle shot, from a skull. Back for Ivashkin. Pulls behind the net. Tries a stab chance and Oliveri scores in his debut once again. Don Oliveri gives the lead right back to Binghamton. Ivashkin over to the new father, Don Oliveri, and with his dad's strength, gets his first goal of the season. Yanks had it temporarily knocked off of his stick, and then Dabrowski is going to go breakaway. Four on four. Shot save made by Mack and Animal. Bond, though, got caught flat-footed, and McKittrick coming wide, throws it right into the chest of Mack and Animal. Tony, the kid from California, up and ready as a shot off the face-off from Ratcliffe. Fought off by Mack and Animal. Haro back over to Amesbury. Centered it all the way across for the Ruiz, and Mack and Animal with a glove save. Well, Connor McEnanema doing his best Sam Lavecchi impression. Take a bow, comes all the way across and somehow gets his glove on that puck. What a save by Connor McEnanema. Oliveri, nice little stick handling. Tipped in and it's a goal, own goal against Bodan Zinchenko. It'll be credited to Don Oliveri and the Black Bears have tied the game up at four. So Bodan Zinchenko trying to atone for his sins of the third period comes in, trying to open up Mack and Anima, and he took a straight path down the Vestal Parkway. So here come in, a lot more speed than Zinchenko, comes in, save made by Mack and Anima. We go to extras. I'm surprised Dabrowski didn't go during regulation shootout. He comes out wide, holds and denied by the blocker of Mack and Anima. We head to the fifth. So here's Cole Spink, it was Brendan Stanko, been the hot hand this year for Binghamton. He comes out wide, and he scores! Brendan Stanko, first one to score tonight. It's in the top of the fifth, and Danbury will need a refill. Let's see if McAnanema can shut the door. Ruiz comes in, trying to fake out McAnanema, he's the nine, and the Black Bears win in the shootout. For the first time this season, beer cans start to fly on the ice, and Binghamton defeats the Danbury Hatrick.